Hello ladies and gentlemen, Xandoria, and welcome back to another YouTube video. Now in today's video, I'm going to be showing you some of the best aircraft in Infinite Flight, okay? Now if you are new here as well, please feel free to like and subscribe. It means everything to me, all the support all of you are showing to me at the moment, okay? So like I said, I'll be showing you in today's video some of the best aircraft in Infinite Flight. Now before I start, I'm not really going to include these general aviation aircraft, so a few honourable mentions. Um, is the TBM 930 and the X Cup um, and if the Ember update is out then them as well um, but of course I'm pre-recording all videos at the moment because I'm on holiday so it's celebrating my late birthday now okay so um, yeah the first aircraft I think I'd like to hop in is the triple sevens now all of these are pretty much the same but let, let's hop in the Emirates aircraft shall we because who doesn't love a bit of Emirates and we're just gonna let's go to Hong Kong Airport I love this place um, so I'm just gonna just go straight on the runway as well. Why not? So I'm gonna show you all the um, the triple seven, and I think it is one of the best aircraft in Infinite Flight. Okay. Now the reason for this is because it was recently reworked. I say recently, um, it was about 2020, the summer then, um, is when it got reworked. But I think it was by far one of the biggest reworks to come to Infinite Flight. Now I'm gonna turn. All volumes off because you probably got deafened by that. Um, but it's got its own custom engine sounds. Now look at these big boys. This aircraft as a whole. So we're looking at the exterior here. It's phenomenal the exterior. Now all the doors in that do open. But I don't know if I can do it on the runway. Um, no I can't. Actually I might be able to do it on the runway. Uh, that's funny. So we're going to try and see if I can sort this out on the runway. Uh, just to attach everything um parking brake on ground services beacon lights on engines off well, i've just put my engines off um okay maybe it's not gonna work we'll go we'll go to a gate so i can show you this because uh, i actually want to show you like the animations of that because i think that is what makes the um triple seven great in itself so we'll go to the cargo stand because it there's no um terminal there for it to connect the jetway because i really want to show you the animations which the jetway sort of covers up now the 777 has been in infinite flight for a very long time, um, ever since I first got the mobile flight simulator. So we're going to have a quick nose at the engines quickly, because they are phenomenal. They're probably the best engines in infinite flight. Just look at the blades, the size, custom engine sounds. This aircraft is in a, like, a league of its own. The Emirates being like one of the world's most recognisable airlines as well, and just beauty of a 777, the 777. So we're going to... Um, just load these up and you, you should be able to see I believe this door will open first yeah so it's got like a little interior for a cargo not very big um, I thought there were big other things to cargo in the triple seven but look as you can see there we've also got oh, here, an exterior cargo one as well so all in all this aircraft is amazing now the next thing to join up I'd imagine will be this door which should open I'll just pause the cargo for now and hopefully the um, passenger, here we go, so it comes up, extends, and look at the animations, um, yeah, I mean it's a little bit off, sort of a bit low, but then not only does it have animations, it has an interior cockpit, now I'm not too sure about that third row just popping out, uh, it's got an interior cabin, not cockpit, sorry, and then the rest of it is empty, but I suppose that's to do with the large size of the aircraft, and you'd be uh, an awful lot more laggy, um, yeah, that aircraft looks so weird. Um, so then we're moving on to the interior cockpit now I probably haven't um, turned anything on yet so we can just put the APU on on and we will see the cockpit load up in a second but while we wait for this to load up just look around in this beautiful cockpit it's fully 3D I think the color of it is beautiful but that's more of a Boeing thing and I think this aircraft in general is absolutely phenomenal um, so hopefully this is going to load up any time now. Put the main battery, the APU is on. Put it on start, maybe that will be why. Um, hopefully the um, the cockpit's going to liven up for us. So, of course, we do have... Oh, there we are, it's going. So we've got, of course, the moving throttle. Uh, does the flaps move? The flap one moves as well, as you can see. Um, we've got the rudder pedals in the bottom. Are we going to miss the cockpit come to life? I've missed it. Ah! Yeah, so there you go. You saw the other screens there. We've got the rudder pedals at work as well. So quite a bit of the cockpit's movable. Um, but I don't think the seatbelt switches and that work in this cockpit. 
I, oh, they do, they do. Look, there we go, sir. Another reason why this is such a great cockpit. Not many cockpits in a flight have working seatbelt signs, but this one does, okay? So, as a whole, this is definitely one of the best aircraft in a flight, the 777. Um, so, yeah, that's a brilliant aircraft. But let's move on to the next aircraft on this list, shall we? And that is, just a little bit further down, the 757. Uh, let's go in a Delta 757. Why not? And I think the 757 in Infinite Flight, again, another phenomenal recently reworked aircraft. Now, I don't remember if it has moving doors. I'm pretty sure it does, but I'm not 100% confident. Um, so we'll just find out when I just pop all these open. And we'll just see down here whether they move. So yeah, so the doors do indeed work on the 757, so I was right. And this again, another recently reworked aircraft. Um, I'm thinking 2020, late 2020 as well. Um, I can't remember whether this is before or after the 777 rework. But look, we've got all the buttons up here. We can see, do the switches move? No, so the switches are all stale in this cockpit. So I'm not too sure if they do work. Oh, however, the APU switch does work. So that's a bit weird. Do the landing light ones work? Oh, so the landing lights work. So actually, it does have moving buttons in the cockpit, which is great as well. And of course, a live cockpit. Now, this aircraft is a very popular for transatlantic flights. Unfortunately, it's reaching the end of its days here um, in the actual real world. I'm sure it'll be an infinite flight for a very long time. And we did miss that come to life. But there is the cockpit. Now, I've, I don't think I've flown the 757 um, in quite a while. But again, the engines on it look phenomenal. And the aircraft as a whole, again, is another brilliant aircraft in infinite flight. So we've got this being probably one of the best aircraft as well. So now we're only mainly looking at these aircraft. Now, 737, an honourable mention, but it doesn't have them moving doors um, either. Now we're going to go to the A350. Now, I remember when this update came out. We're going to go back in the Everett's every because we love it. And I remember when this update first came out in infinite flight. Uh, the A350 was probably, you know... a, a it was probably one of the first aircraft to have a live cockpit talking of the jets um, and it was definitely a whole new day in the um, world of aviation for infinite flight when this update came because it was highly anticipated like you see it's got moving doors it's got the cargo doors it does have a downside to it which i'll show you in a second but we're just going to wait for this cockpit to come to life but while we do that we'll see if any of the buttons move up here um i don't see any movement for the passenger light but we do see them switches move for these lights here. So look at them. So all of them move, which again is great. And that cockpit should be alive. Perfect. So we have a fully interior cockpit. Now I have no idea what, how to get the side mirrors, uh, the side like screens working. So if anyone can let me know down in the comments how I get these ones working, please let me know. It would be greatly appreciated. But the major downside is um, passenger. Come on, we want all them. Um, to this is the interior. Now, it's uh, yeah, it's it's a black void. Um, yeah, I don't know what they really call this. This is hardly an interior, but yeah. So I suppose that is a downside to it. But all in all, when you think about aircraft and infant flight, you're mainly interested on the exterior. I suppose the windows look a bit dark and loomy, um, but I suppose that's a downfall. But the engines, this aircraft in general. Is phenomenal, but I don't remember when it first came out. It used to crash uh, the flight simulator quite a lot for quite a few people, so that's unfortunate. And is that door going to open up for us? It surely should, um, hopefully. Otherwise, passengers are gonna have to walk right through the door. It doesn't look like it's gonna open, um, it should do. It doesn't look like it is animated actually. So, unfortunately, the doors don't look animated actually. But at least the cargo bit is. Okay, so that's very important. Now, the next aircraft is just a bit of a favourite um, of mine. And the A330, honourable mention. But the A220. Now, this thing, uh, it's in our league of its own. We're going to go in the Bombardier livery for it. Because I think it does it a lot of justice, this livery. And I think, you know, go back to the roots of the aircraft prior to when Airbus purchased it. Um, I think this aircraft is just on a league of its own by a long, long way. So hopefully we're going to load in any time now. Um, and I still, I really like this loading screen actually of Osh the Oshkosh event, which was maybe a week ago. Okay, so here we are all loaded in in the A220 or the CS300. Now, 
Let's just go straight onto this because I'm pretty sure the doors and everything do work on this phenomenal. It's just a tiny aircraft, but it's so cool. It's my favourite, favourite short medium haul aircraft in a foot flight. But it just, it just, it's a great aircraft. Okay, now if you disagree with me, you're wrong. Um, I'm sorry, I won't have anyone tell me they don't like the AT20. Um, I know people complain it's hard to land, and I understand that, but <laughs> as an aircraft as a whole, it's phenomenal in infinite flight. So, of course, down here, we've got the cargo doors open, the front door, and all of that open up. But look at the cockpit as well. It's a lovely tiny cockpit. If flight have done a great job with it. Uh, let's see if any of these buttons work. They look like they work from a glance, but we're going to find out. Uh, there we go. Look at them all working. Uh, up there uh, so they're all flicking about now do the seatbelt ones work as well yeah look, even the seatbelt lights so you know cockpit wise phenomenal loading up look at it brilliant all worked um the whole lot so as an aircraft as a whole this is a great aircraft in infinite flight um and i appear to have detached them all so yeah you can't you can't really disagree with the cs300 or the a220 uh same aircraft so yeah if you did though enjoy this youtube video please let me know down below and i hope to see you all in my next youtube video again if you're new here and you made it this far thank you um please feel free to like and subscribe but i'll see you all in my next youtube video good night